tired of giving things a chance. Ha. I'm so tired all the time. I just <laughs> <laughs> got it. I got the right combination. It just took more work. I'm tired all the time. Oh, hello. Hey, we were just talking about the Fox's television show Got Ham, which neither of us have seen, so we can't talk about it really. I know it's about people that don't have ham and they try and find some. Yeah, it's like it's like the new Got Milk. Yeah. The meat, the other white meat. I'm Matt. I'm Danny. This is Southern California Comics Weekly Comic Book Video Update Review. Update. Video. So many words. Yes. We're going to talk about the comics that came out this week that we thought you'd like to know about. Not all of them. Just a select choice. Yeah. Because it would take hours. It would at least take an hour. Because it kind of run through more. All of them? Because we're going to say about Grim Fairy Tales. Grim Fairy Tales. You're like, it's out. Next. I can't even grab one. Oh, I saw it over there. You'll never know what we'll say about it. We don't read it, and it's here. Um, I'm gonna talk about this hot new Green Lantern event called Godhead. Ooh. It's Green Lantern and new gods coming together, and it's got, I think it's got kind of a, a Infinity Gauntlet thing, because mm -hmm. someone is taking all the rings, all the types of rings. To destroy Darkseid. Yeah, of course. I really like the covers of these because they're like super designing. They got big words on them. The last covers like that weren't they the Daredevils from like five years ago? Yeah, the oh, the, the Decalogue uh, yeah. story arc. Yeah, yeah. That was like eight years ago. It was thirty-five years ago. It's about time, DC. I did it thirty-five years ago. Watchmen. It's a movie. The Watchmen. <laughs> Only if there's a series of prequel books I can read beforehand to understand it. <laughs> there are. Yeah. So so anyway, there are. There's a crossover in Green Lantern called Godhead, and two chapters are out. You want to read Godhead number one for the first chapter, Act One, Part One. I guess there are multiple acts. And then, and then Green Lantern number thirty-five yeah. is Act One, Part Two. And then I'll go through Core, New Guardians, probably Red Lanterns. Yeah, all probably right. not for the canceled Larfly series. Oh, yeah. Probably some extra. R.I.P. There'll probably be some more like one shots. Yeah. That also take part in the story. Could be two months. Who knows anymore? Yeah, I have no idea. But Green Lantern is a thing that people like. Well, it's also a movie. Speaking of Green Lantern, hey, Rat Queens is back. There's no, I'm not even going to bother. Um, this is issue eight. I think it's been like a couple months since Rat Queens was out. Yeah, they usually stop when they have enough for a trade. Just take yeah. a break. Oh, I think he had the guy to baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, his wife had a baby and he watched. Yeah. So he watched. <laughs> that's a that's a big assumption that he watched. Well, I mean, he didn't like. Yeah, he could have been outside smoking cigarettes. But you're giving him less credit than I gave him. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rat Queens is a story about uh, basically a group of lady characters in a D and D world. Yes. Um, but the writing's fresh. It's fun. It's yeah. enjoyable. It's not violent. It's got swears. Yeah, it's got swears. It's got girls with beards. It's got really nice art. Yeah, and it's really fun. Um, it's really really enjoyable book. This is a one shot just with one of the characters and their kind of backstory. Cool. Um, which is good after a long break. So, yeah, get the trade, get the books, and then read them with your brain and your eyeballs. What you should also read. What's that? Is uh, Gotham Academy. Oh, yeah, a new Batman book. Issue one is out. Uh, it's Becky Cloonan, uh, 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 Brendan Fletcher, and art by Carl Kershaw, who is fucking awesome. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Yeah, and I cursed. Yeah. I'm after we that. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Been a long day, but change the word to pudding. Pudding, awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm sure only adults watch this. Anyway, Gotham Academy is kind of like Harry Potter in the Batman world. Yeah. It's about this exclusive school for kids in Gotham City that uh, Bruce Wayne owns. Mm -hmm. And it's about the kids getting into crazy adventures, and the place may be haunted. There are conspiracies. It's good fun. The art is great. It's a nice little all ages book for everyone. Kind of, kind of in your lumberjanes territory. Yeah. It will go great with uh, next week's Batgirl. Or uh, frozen yogurt. It will go great there. with frozen yogurt or yeah. pudding. Yeah. Or I guess reading another comic too. Yes. So Gotham Academy is really good, and I like it a lot. What you got? I couldn't think of another bad transition. Hey, look, store number one. I know. I've said this five hundred times to you, like in the past, like hey, years. yeah. Hey, store number one. Hey, Thor's being rebooted. Hey, guys, all new Thor. Brand new Marvel now presents Thor. Hey, guys, it's store number one. Um, this though uh, probably deserves a rebootish because it's Lady Thor, which is Thor, but this one. Yes. In this the, is it. In the aftermath of original sin, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, there yeah. has to be a new Thor because old Thor cannot carry the hammer anymore. He got whispered into. Uh, 
out of his book. He got whispered. He, he, he literally found out that he sucked. I was like, oh, yeah. man, I so can't. So was like, hey, not as hot as Chris Hemsworth. He's like, no, it is Hemsworth. Forsooth. <laughs> um, we, we don't know who this is. We still don't know. We haven't read the book, you won't know. Yeah, so uh, here's your new jumping on point for the Lady Thor. We're all sold out, but we have variants left. Yes. So Surely there'll be another printing. Yes. Uh, we just haven't been off the one yet. So you gotta buy these until you can read the story. Um, so, uh, Thor's Lady. This is it. Not a hoax. In the meantime, this book you can story. read. Yeah. Uh, Winter Soldier number one. Starring Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. From I've the, seen him from in the movie. movie. From Watchmen. Captain America Dose. There's a character like him in Watchmen. A comedian. He looks kind of like uh, Bucky. None of them were funny. Which one was a comedian? Oh, he's the guy with the mask. Shoots people. He's like the Punisher. They all the talk mask. like that. They all talk like this. Oh yeah, even the lady. Yeah. But Winter Soldier also spins out of Original Sin. It doesn't really matter. You don't need... Original Sin was good, but you don't need to read it to get this. Yeah. Basically, uh, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, has become a, an intergalactic assassin. Basically a one-man shield yeah. for space who's taken out all sorts of uh, cosmic targets. With guns. Yeah. It's by Alish Koch, who does Secret Avengers and Zero and lots of other great books, and art by Marco Rudy. The art by Marco Rudy is crazy. It's pretty nuts. Nice. Yeah, it's super psychedelic, super... Yeah, it's painted art. It's like uh, it's like if Jim Steranko did Fear Agent. Yeah. yeah. That's, wow, that's really good. It's super good. It's pretty weird, but he's got a gun. So, so don't yell at him. You should read it, because it's really good. Spinning out of all the media tie-ins you've heard lately... It's Captain... Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> Captain, Captain America, America, number 25. Hey, I got it. Is this the last issue? Uh, yeah. Um, so, I don't know if you know this, but Captain America is being replaced by another Captain America. And the media has been very good to not tell us at all who this is. That is what we call humor. Because the opposite is true. Yes. Because, Everyone knows. Uh, when this was put out, when, who's the new Captain America? It's Falcon. Yeah. Who is it? It's Falcon. Everyone's so it's Falcon. It's not a surprise. Sorry guys, but you if you hadn't heard this, you heard it from here. Um, uh, with a hilarious kind of joke on that too, and even the book is like, yeah. are you surprised? Why are we talking about this? Yeah, because the people making it know like the the marketing machine has to give away that. Big spoiler, because yeah. otherwise no one would know about it. Yeah. Like, remember when Ghost Rider got replaced uh, a couple years ago? Exactly. Yeah, no, I don't. So I nobody, remember now, but... Nobody talked about not it. Not even exists in the universe. So here it is. We still have a few more copies left. Collector's Item. Number one's coming out. Next week I'm going to go, Hey guys, Captain America number one. I know I've said that 500 times, and Daniel will say, in the last two years. And then I'll make several more jokes about it. Um, uh, also, yeah. I'm kind of excited for Captain America and the Mighty Avengers. That looks kind of good. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. So, check it out. It's still got She-Hulk. But it's got Spider-Man in it. Jesus. The Manti Spider-Man. Doc Hawk was my Spider-Man. There, I'll say it. It's on camera. Wow. Yeah. Grow up, America. It's time to move on. My Spider-Man is... Speaking of growing <laughs> up, my Spider-Man is Master Plasty <laughs> by, uh... Image Comics. Yes, it's by James Harvey. Sometimes he flips names around, so I forget. Yeah, James Harvey. It's uh, something that was online for a little bit, but then uh, Image Comics decided to put it out as an oversized one-shot. I do not know if they told us it was this big. I was not aware. Yeah, I did not know. But Surprise. It is, it is the size of my torso. You can pretend you're shrinking, and this comic is super good. It's pretty fun. It is a sort of pseudo-science fiction comic about a... Uh, this this uh, this procedure that completely changes your appearance. That's like a gam it's like gamble plastic surgery. Yeah, but you never know what you're gonna turn out like, so it might be horrible. Mm -hmm. And the art is really good, and it deserves the oversized treatment. Like, check that out. Really, it's really sweet. gorgeous art. Maybe every comic book should be this size. Yeah. It's got a couple other backup stories, doesn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it's got some extra content that you did not see online. Yeah, this is this was. I flipped out when I first read this, like, last year or something. And now it exists in my hands, and it is great. It is my favorite. In your tiny baby uh, insect hands. Yes. My little Tyrannosaurus hands. It's so big. It's five ninety nine for a gigantic comic. Yo, yo, this is four ninety nine. <laughs> this is five ninety nine. The dollar more you get, like, 
99% more comic book. Yes. And you don't have to read anything else after this. Yeah. Make sure you read it again and again. Yes, you should just flip it over and start reading. Good luck getting a bag and board for that one. Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda hard to transport though. Put it in your pocket. But it'll go great next to your uh, your copy of Wednesday Comics. Wear it. And your uh, your Popeye hardcovers. Oh yeah, and your Muhammad Ali vs. Superman. Yeah. All your uh, artist editions from IDW. Which is great. Yeah. Um, this, technically this is big too. Oh, oh, you have to follow me, that sucks. I know. But I have a trade, so it still counts. Good trade off. Uh, this is Star Wars Volume 3 by Dark Horse Comics. Uh, I'm just letting you know, this is the last one, trade-wise, it's it. Yeah, because all that stuff is over, going to Marvel. So they switch hands and they handshake and then you get new books. Um, yeah, this is it, so there's no more. I really don't have like a big grandiose thing about it, I just wanted to tell you. The last one, three volumes of classic right. type Star Wars. Ryan right, did a good job. Looks okay. Usually Star Wars books make me go, Ugh, who is that? And I didn't, because it's all the classic characters. I didn't read it too much, but I still didn't go, oh, I don't get that. Yeah, well, who is Blue Guy? Who is Green Rabbit? Yo, this dude has a laser sword. Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about that later. Oh, I see. Oh, I see where this is going. It's basically like Star Trek, but in space. It's pretty cool. Oh, is Nick Fury in this? Yeah, he's in everything. Wow. Cool. And Star Wars, this is a new Yeah, new it's comic? definitely new. New movies coming out. Oh, man. New movies. Wow. Where's well, Captain Kirk? You gotta keep reading. Oh, okay. Uh, this will probably take about 20 minutes for him to figure out the whole Star Wars universe. So, I guess we'll uh, cut and go to a new segment. When we're done, hopefully he'll know everything about yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to tell you who the blue lady is. There should be like a tiger. Why isn't there a tiger in like an X-Wing costume? I don't know. You should talk to Star Wars about that. Alright, I'm gonna give him a call. Okay. I'll wait here. Hello? Star Wars? Yeah, it's me again. Where's Mr. Spock? Oh. <laughs> it was from Space 1999. Oh, okay. I've been yelling in general. I kind of wanna yeah. cross the street. Don't ask them for the time. Hey, we're back! Hey! Uh, this was the whole crazy conversation. They probably don't have watches either. No. Yeah. So, we just got done talking about James Harvey's Masterplasty, which is available at this very shop from Image Comics. It's really big and really good. You should read it. You can sleep with a blanket with it. And we thought we should talk about... Yeah, you can. It's like one of those big newspapers that homeless people sleep in. Yeah, don't get homeless. Yeah, don't get homeless. But if you become Masterplasty. But, so we're going to talk about comics that are very large in size. Yeah. And you want to go... Oh, that's good. Yeah, we'll go uh, smallest to largest. The tradition for a while were treasuries. Um, yeah, both DC and Marvel used to have uh, big old big, comics. Big books. As a kid, I actually got the Superman vs. Spider-Man one. Nice. And that was like a big thing for me. It's a big book, and it's special. It's not... Yeah. Um, used to have the, uh, the All-Star Comics number 3 reprint. Mm -hmm. Also huge. Those were good. Yeah, sometimes yeah. DC would do uh, reprints of original origin tales things. Yeah. Um, sometimes there would be themes, like these are holiday ones. Notice um, Hulk is being used as a sled for Thor, who can fly, so it's kind of backwards. Kind of Pretty great. That. Um, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But yeah, all kinds of stuff. It was a lot of fun. They don't do many more, but I guess sometimes there's an homage with Master Plastic. Yeah. Alright, so, what's that? Alright. One, one of the great comic strips of all time is Popeye. Forget what you've seen in the newspapers of Popeye these days, because okay. it's straight up garbage. We know they had Popeye. But, yes, Popeye began as a comic strip. Mm -hmm. It was in a comic called Thimble Theater, for, mm -hmm. which existed for ten years before introducing Popeye. Wow. And then Popeye became the breakout character, and then they decided to rename the comic strip Popeye. Hmm. So, here we are. It's great. Uh, yep. So, Fan Graphics has an oversized hardcover of Popeye. There's like... Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six volumes of it. Because it spells out Popeye. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, spine spells out Popeye. Volume 1 has a P, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot of comic strips on each page. Really huge. They do the uh, Sunday funnies in the back, which are full color. Sweet. And often maybe a more continuous story. Mm -hmm. A different continuous story. Super good. These are actually super funny. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Yeah. And they're like, they do long-running stories. Every strip's like four to five panels, so you get like... 
a good chunk of story compared to like what you get these days in comic strips, which yeah. is just three. Rip off Garfield. Sometimes two. Yeah, pretty bad. That was one long one. Yeah, no good. No. But yeah, Popeye is great, and you should read it. On a similar note, uh, a few years back DC did a fun thing. Yeah. And DC was fun. Called Wednesday Comics. <laughs> and for what eight issues, eight weeks, twelve issues? Might have been twelve. Um, they actually put out comics on a newspaper quality paper, actually. Yeah, folded, yeah, folded it up, up and everything. And it had 15 different stories. Yeah, every every page was a different full-page comic strip. And they were serialized, so, you know, each week you got one. Um, it was by a bevy of different artists and writers. It's so big. And then they uh, formatted it to be the original size it was. Which is great because a lot of this artwork you really need to see. Yeah, it was made to size. be large size. Yeah. So you get some Metal Men, some Sergeant Rock. You get the little, uh, what was that, Mandy. Ryan Sook Commandy? Yeah. Some guy called Batface, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, um, a little Green Lantern. Metamorpho. Metamorpho cool. by Neil Gaiman and Mike Alred. Come on. Yeah. That should be a monthly series. That's crazy. So something may have overlooked, uh, really, really, really good. It's just cool and fun and harkens back to a fun time when comic books were fun. Not like now. They're very serious. Alright. Cry. All Here's day. the biggest one. Whoa. Uh, so lately, IDW has been releasing what are called artist editions, which are comics reprinted straight from the original artboards at the size of the original artboards. So, so I'm not in color. Right now I'm holding the one for Will Eisner's The Spirit, which it's gotta be like, I don't know, 100 something, 200 pages. That book might be holding you at this point. Yeah, it's, it's become a part of me now. But yeah, this is the size that Will Eisner drew the spirit at. That it is pretty. gigantic. So you're gonna see black and white, but you're also gonna see color, blue pencils, the lines yeah, you're gonna see. Blue white pencils, edits. stains, yeah. like coffee stains. It's kinda sweet. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, like, if you love the form of comic books, these are for you. And they have ones for. A whole bunch of different a lot of they just did a Mike and Gillian Hellboy, yeah, um, Jack Kirby's New Gods, Steranko, Spider Man, Hollywood, yeah, yeah. So, um, huge books make you look very tiny, which is nice. <laughs> Don't go on a diet, just buy a big book. Uh, also, DC has also done, um, like this, but smaller, the uh, Absolute Editions. Oh, yeah, so bigger yeah. stories and books. Um, yeah, some of the some of the great DC comics of all time were published in jag oversized hardcovers. Yeah. They're actually quite small compared yeah, to these. these. But it's, uh, these books are fun. It's nice to get one of these sometimes because if you're really like the artist, if you want to see more, if you want to be fully immersed into a book, there's no better way than with a giant book. It's like you're a kid again. Yeah. Opening gigantic books. So that's why we like big books. These are cool and they're fun. And they're neat. Case closed. Yes. I don't have any book puns. Uh, we should close the book on this episode. It was a real page turner. Yeah. Can you make a duck noise? No. <laughs> like in the video. Oh, course. no. No. I'm, no. Okay. <laughs> Fine. All right, well, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm not going to carry these back. These are too heavy. Uh, you have, like, a cart? No. How about this? First person that comes in and puts these away gets to put them away for free. You heard it here first. Man, don't all come in at once. Then I won't. Yeah. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. I'm not kidding about these books. Yeah, I don't want to carry them either. They're so heavy. Oh! I wash my hands with this. Turn the camera off. I'm like Pontius Pilates. Is that a new art form? No. Nah. See you next week. Yeah. Bye. See you next week.